Okay, AI is moving faster than any human can keep up with. So I built an obsidian vault that makes AI work for me instead of eating me alive. This is agent space. Recently, I had a problem. I had a question that every YouTuber runs into at some point or the other, which is, what should I make next? Instead of guessing, I decided to make a data-driven decision using the power of an AI agent who had access to my entire agent space with an MCP that allowed the agent to access the analytics of my channel, pull down any top-level YouTube comment that anyone had ever left on one of my videos, all of them. And it neatly organized them into this JSON format. And then I asked it, based upon what viewers were asking for throughout the entire lifetime of the channel, what is it that people most wanted to know that I could answer in a video? right now. And from that conversation with the agent, I was able to finally make a decision that felt solid and backed by actual data, what people were actually saying. And this would be the same if you had a business of any type where you needed to find out information about customers or all of the reviews they've left or all of the support emails that you have received. With the power of the tools that an AI agent has in an app like this, this is Cursor, and the tools that the agent has access to are four of them, and they are all four equally powerful. And MCPs bring into your Obsidian Vault, where the agent can access all of this information, it brings in data externally. But there are different types of data that you can store in your vault. Because an Obsidian Vault doesn't just have to contain markdown files like this one. It can contain products like the Foundry, where I have a workshop. If we're currently working on something, there's nothing in play right now. But we have just recently finished Book Tracker Pro. We also did the YouTube Web Clipper Pack. And the entirety of Book Tracker Pro, because it's a digital product, the entirety of the product is right here in the Obsidian Vault. And any commissions that I have done for clients are also here. The studio is where everything regarding content creation lives, including the current video, which you can see we're working on this video right now, the published videos, the creative lab, ideas rest here, and the administration of the channel including the entirety of the channel's strategy. The logbook is the history of you and your interactions with the agent. Basically, what have you been working on? This file here, the agent briefing, shows the agent right away every time we start a new conversation, it reads this file to determine exactly what we have been working on. The project ledger, keeps track of active projects that we're working on. And the work logs keep track of the day-to-day -day work that we have done. It also has the business model and systems philosophy. The tasks are kept here and are written by the agent because the agent has access to task notes. And I'll show you in a little bit a really cool trick about using the agent not just for managing the data of your vault, but for actually managing the entirety of the vault and even creating new vaults for you, like this one that I needed to create for a client for a commission. Now, if the logbook is the history of the vault, the codex is its brain. Here, in each of these folders, are all of the knowledge that we have gathered to complete tasks. Because data isn't just numbers or analytics or a spreadsheet. Data is what you've done, like the logbook, what you need to know, and the documents that teach you that. And I break that information up into the different areas of YouTube that interest me that I'm trying to learn about. And I gather that information using Web Clipper. This is a note 
that came directly from the YouTube Web Clipper template that I built to solve this particular problem. How do I get all of that amazing information right here into my vault with key takeaways and a transcript and all of the description, genre, thumbnail, and all of that so that the agent could get access to it. Listen, this is the power of an AI agent in your Obsidian Vault and how I have been solving so many of my business problems. The agent and I don't just bring these notes in here. In the past, what I did with my Obsidian Vaults is I would be so good at bringing notes and information into my vault. But then after that, I wouldn't do anything with it. What would I end up doing with all of this beautiful, pretty information? And the answer was not much. But here is where everything changed for me, is when I asked the agent to take all of these documents and create a master guide. It took the information from these different videos and organized it in a way that I could read through it or go to a particular section and find out more about that information, neatly organized. But not only was I able to learn more about YouTube titles, but the agent had this information too. Most of these folders have master guides in them. When I put knowledge into the vault, using this Web Clipper template, I'm careful to let to look over the key takeaways and see what it is that is being said. And you can get a pretty good idea from the key takeaways here. And you can go through these and say, yeah, I can see that there's not a lot of useful information. So that video goes. So once I've collected all the videos, then the agent turns it into a master guide and we use it to succeed. But if you give it the information and allow it to use that and use your vault as the place where the information lives, the vault becomes a power tool in and of itself. It's amazing. So the logbook is the memory or the history. The codex is the brain. The engine, well, it's the engine. This is where things get really fun in this Obsidian Vault. This is a seven step system for creating content. And I don't know if you have seen those videos saying, you know, stop making goals, start making systems. Well, this is my system. And at its core, it's really simple, but really powerful. It's just really. A checklist. It's a checklist that has every single step necessary to creating a video. And there's there's a lot to it. <laughs> and I realized that one of the things that I struggled with in my business that led to burnout was trying to hold all of this in my head. Everything necessary, for example, for the pre-production. And you can see here that we are using again those MCPs. Those MCPs are absolutely core to my business. To put it really plainly, MCPs, along with the other three tools, power tools of agents, is what turn agents, AI agents, into Jarvis. And so you might be sitting back and going, okay, so you're basically telling me that your engine is, a, is like seven checklists, right? Like that's it? So yes. And they're also the standard operating procedures necessary for these checklists to end up being checked. And when I'm building on a video, I'm not just doing these checklists myself. The agent is going through these checklists. Much of these steps is for the agent itself, or it will remind me of what I need to do next, including even opening the actual app for me. The first tool is rules. Rules give an agent instructions that it can use all the time or just when certain things are happening, like using the Gmail MCP. The next tool are commands. These are slash commands 
that I can invoke at any time. MCPs allow the agent to go out into the wider world and take information and post it out into the world, say, for example, making a draft in Gmail or bring information in. But the terminal allows the agent to run commands. It has access to your system, the parts that you ask it to access, so it doesn't run amok in your system. That's not how it works. There are so many different things that the way you find out what these power tools can do for you and your business is to simply ask it. Is it possible using the terminal and a PowerShell command to do and then tell it what it is you need done? These tools, rules, commands, the terminal, and MCPs are the key to turning your Obsidian Vault into a power tool for your business. The last folder I wanted to show you was VaultWorks here. This is the infrastructure. And it brings me to a little trick I hinted at the beginning of the video, which was how the agent doesn't just have access to your Obsidian folders. It has access to your Obsidian settings. An agent can make an entire vault for you from scratch. Like the one that I built for a client, I described what I needed in the vault and it was able to create that vault for me because an agent has access to your obsidian dot obsidian folder, which is where the settings for plugins are kept. I love the fact that obsidian is such a fantastic tool, but now it's a tool that's indispensable. It's the ultimate power tool for my business. And if your mind is buzzing on all of the cool MCPs that you could set up, like the next one I want to do is one that connects to my Google Calendar. I did a video that is super simple to understand. And I promise you at the end of it, you will feel confident in using APIs to begin your journey with MCPs. And that video is on screen right now.